Today I'm going to be checking out the NALA Package Manager, N-A-L-A, -A, NALA. This is a front end to the apt package manager, apt, A-P-T, that is Debian slash Ubuntu's package manager. So if you're on a Debian based or an Ubuntu based distribution, you use the apt package manager. Well, NALA is a prettier front end. It actually gives you some pretty fancy output at the terminal, uh, more colorful, you know, just, it's kind of, neo fetch like as far as it really doesn't do anything but it just it gives you a little bling as far as your terminal output but it's not all just aesthetics actually nala does have one very important piece of functionality built into it that actually greatly improves apt and that is the ability to have parallel downloads parallel downloads means that when it's downloading all of your your packages it can actually download more than one at a time and this is something that standard apt just can't do and nala hasn't been around that long let me go ahead and switch to my desktop here this is a gitlab repository for nala where you can read a little bit about it you can see nala is a front end for lib apt dash package it's basically a front end to the apt package manager it uses a python dash apt api and if i scroll back up is this actually written in python let me see what the source code actually looks like yeah so this is actually written in python let me back back out of that and let me find the license information as well. It is GPL software, so it is under a free and open source license. This piece of software has not been around that long, but here in recent weeks it's become very popular because I've gotten a ton of requests for me to actually take a look at Nala. So that's what I'm going to do today. And how do you install Nala? Well, if you read their GitLab and if I scroll down, what you need to do is you need to add a custom repository to your sources list. Uh, now, what I'm I'm going to do is since I'm going to do this in a virtual machine, I'm going to use Packstall because I'm also interested in this project as well. I actually did a video about Packstall a while back, but what Packstall is, it attempts to be essentially a AUR for Ubuntu. So the AUR is, of course, the Arch user repository, which is basically a community driven repository of software. That's what Packstall aims to be. For Ubuntu and Pextall is really easy to get installed on Ubuntu and then once it's installed I can use Pextall to then install Nala so that's what I'm going to do on this video. So I created this virtual machine of Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu 2204 and what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to open up Firefox and I'm going to do a quick search for Pextall because I need to get the uh, command to actually install Pextall because it's a lengthy command and it'd be easier for me just to copy and paste. So I'm going to go to the Pextall GitHub here. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to install this using the curl command here. So I'm just going to copy that line and then I'm going to open a terminal and make the terminal full screen here and zoom in. And then I'm just going to paste that command and I get an error because curl is not installed out of the box in Ubuntu. So first let me sudo apt install curl because I can't install Pextall with curl obviously until curl is installed. And now that curl is installed, let me up arrow to the curl command that will install Pextall. And now you can see the Pextall installation is running. Then I get this question, do you want to install Axel for faster downloads? Sure, I like fast downloads. And Pextall is now installed. So now what I can do, let me clear the screen, and I'm going to run Pextall dash capital I for install and then name of program. And the name of the program is Nala dash Deb. And it's asked, do, do I want to view or edit the pack script? This is the build script. And for safety reasons, typically you'll want to view the script uh, just to make sure it's not going to do anything malicious. Because again, these are community driven, community contributed scripts, right? Similar to the AUR, you shouldn't just install just anything random from the AUR. But in this case, I trust this, so I'm not going to view the script. And you can see it's installing several Python libraries, which of course, again, Nala written in Python. And Nala finished installing, so let's go ahead and run some uh, commands here. Now, one of the standout features of Nala is that you have this command here, Nala space fetch. What this does, it finds your fastest mirrors. So, and, and this actually works on any uh, Debian-based or an Ubuntu-based distribution, as long as they use the main repositories. So, you know, you use the uh, Debian repositories or the Ubuntu repositories. If you have your own completely custom repository, that never touch Debian or Ubuntu, then this may not work. But of course, here I'm on mainline Ubuntu, so let's run this fetch command. And it says I need to be root. Well, of course, 
and sudo nala fetch. Fetching Ubuntu mirrors. And you can see it's testing the mirrors. It's checking 573 mirrors, finding, you know, what's going to be the fastest ones for me. I do like the pretty output, right? It's got some, some nice coloring. Uh, again, it's more about the fancy effects, right? <laughs> Which, you know, aesthetics do mean something. If you're going to look at terminal output all the time, if you're one of those people that spends a ton of time in the terminal, you do want your terminal-based applications to actually look good be attractive you know you you want to enjoy actually using them and you can see we get a list uh, here it's showing us 16 of the fastest mirrors and it gives us the time in milliseconds as far as their score uh, which mirrors do we want to keep and you can see we need to actually give comma separated values for the numbers or it looks like it would accept a range so if i did one and then two dots 16 would that just accept all one through 16 it doesn't look like that's the way that works. It looks like I have to do this individually. So one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six comma seven comma eight. We'll just do eight mirrors. And I'm an idiot. It says mirrors have to be separated by spaces, not commas. So one space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now it says that's okay. Are these mirrors okay? It, it actually shows the eight I chose and their times. And you can see the sources have been written to a config file, a uh, file called nala-sources.list. Now let me run nala space dash dash help to see what all flags and options are available. And you know what? The commands to run look like they're essentially the standard apt commands. So instead of using apt, of course, we're going to use nala. So let me do a nala update and and nala upgrade instead of, of course, sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. We need to do sudo nala update and and sudo nala upgrade. And it's updating the repository, syncing the mirrors, right? And uh, that is some really fancy output here at the terminal. That actually may be a little bit too much bling even for me, but but I don't mind it that much. And it looks like it finished uh, syncing the mirrors, and now it says 272 packages are going to be upgraded. And it says the following packages were kept back. Nala was unable to determine why these were held. One of them is gstreamer-va API, and another one is a language pack. So do I want to continue? Yes. It looks like it's going to install five packages and upgrade 270 packages. I haven't updated this VM in a while, and I purposely uh, chose this VM that needed an update to run this because I wanted to see how fast, especially the upgrade portion works. Because remember, it's using parallel downloads. By default, it defaults to three parallel downloads. That's the setting. So a 270 package upgrade, which would typically take, I don't know, probably just a couple of minutes on the standard Ubuntu, hopefully finishes maybe under a minute now that we're using this uh, parallel download feature. And actually the downloads have already finished. You can see we're already unpacking everything that's already been downloaded. So yeah, the parallel downloads definitely do seem to speed things up a little bit because a 270 package update, this is going rather fast. And it finished updating all of those packages. It looks like running dpackage 551 packages. I thought it was 270. Anyway, it was a bunch of stuff, including a Linux kernel update, which will require a reboot. You can see we get a notice that these programs here, their updates actually do require a reboot. And it actually killed the snapd daemon as well. Snap probably also had an update that was part of this. I will hold off on rebooting the VM for now because I still want to play with Nala a little bit. Let's do a Nala search, kind of like app search. Let's search for a package. Maybe I want to install NeoVim. I probably would need to spell it right to actually search for it. And it goes out and it returns a list of everything that has the string NeoVim as either part of its name or part of its description. And you can see there is the actual NeoVim package. If I want to to install something, I would, of course, with sudo nala install neovim. It gives us a list of the dependencies. That's nicely colored again. <laughs> that is nice output. And I, I kind of like how it, it gets everything into these blocks, you know, with these separators. It reminds me a lot of actually DNF 
over in Fedora. You know how DNF, a lot of the output is in these this blocky kind of format that's separated by these horizontal lines. It kind of has that DNF feel to it. So let me go ahead and choose yes to install NeoVim. It looks like I get an error there. Uh, for one of the mirrors. And remember, we did do a, a check for the fastest. Eight mirrors is what I chose, but maybe one of them is down at the moment, but that's fine because the other seven should work for us. Yeah, and then installed NeoVim just fine. Some of the other things that I love to do with the apt package manager, I love this command here, apt space list space dash dash install that'll give me a list of all the packages installed with the apt package manager i wonder if nala list dash dash installed works the same way let me hit enter and find out and it does it gives me a list of everything installed using the apt package manager although the output is a little bit different it's a little fancier we get the name of the program in this case it's in green we get the version in blue so it's some nice coloring and then we get a little uh, subtree here uh, the first line here is is it installed and of course everything should say is installed in this output because we specifically asked for programs that are installed and then of course we get our description of what the program is as well as part of that output so yeah that's a really nice command i also noticed that the uh, list command for nala has this interesting flag dash capital n what this is this is listing everything that was installed specifically with nala so not apt but uh, did you actually install it using the nala command and if i hit enter on this only one program is returned, NeoVim, which of course I had just installed using Nala just a couple of minutes ago. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with Nala. Uh, it, it's basically the same as apt, right? The same commands that work with apt work in Nala, but you know, it's a little fancier output, right? It's a little prettier. Uh, you know, it's nicer to look at, to be honest. And of course, you have the benefit when installing software, the fact that Nala has the ability to have those multiple downloads going on at the same time, those parallel downloads. Again, it defaults to three for the parallel downloads, and that should speed up the process of installing or upgrading software, especially if you have like a massive upgrade. So for those of you on Debian or Ubuntu-based systems, yeah, I would give Nala a try. I, I think already, even though it's kind of a young project it looks really nice one thing i would say be aware is that because it is a newer project i'm sure there are bugs in it so don't be surprised if you encounter some little quirks that maybe nala has that standard apt doesn't have so just be aware of that but if you do encounter bugs of course what you should do is make sure you go to the gitlab for nala and let those guys know so they could improve the product now before i go i need to thank a few special people i need to thank the producers of this episode i need to thank dustin gabe james matt maxim michael mitchell paul west why you bald homie alan Armor Dragon, Chuck, Commander Angry, Die Yokai, Dylan, Greg, Marstrom, Erjan, Alexander, Paul, Peace Arch, and Vador, Polytech, Realities, Realists, Red Prophet, Steven, Tools, Devler, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at the Nala package manager would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen, all these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you want more episodes about Linux and free and open source software subscribe to DistroTube over on patreon all right guys peace nala is like dnf if dnf was fast